Tonight, a federal investigation is underway into a deadly incident aboard a Southwest Airlines jet. The flight from New York City to Dallas, making an emergency landing in Philadelphia after an engine broke apart in midair after only 20 minutes. Shrapnel apparently blowing out one of the cabin windows. Passengers struggling to hold onto one woman who was sucked into the open window. And despite their best efforts, she did not survive, though. I want you to listen to, this, this is just some of the communications between the cockpit and air traffic control. Injured passengers, okay, and are you, is your airplane physically on fire? Prep fire, prep fire, fire, but part of it's missing. They said there was a hole and, and uh, someone went out. Um, I'm sorry, you said there was a hole and somebody went out? Mm -hmm. Southwest 1380, it doesn't matter. We'll work it out there. Joining me now is Marty Martinez. He was a passenger uh, on that flight. Thank you so much. I can't, I can't believe this. This must have been terrifying for you. How are you doing? Uh, I'm doing a little bit better. You know, it's, uh, I've been fortunate to get a lot of loved ones that have reached out. And, you know, I, I finally have had a little bit of time to myself tonight. And I just feel very lucky to be alive. Take me through this. When you realized something was wrong, what happened? What did you do? Um, so, you know, I take a lot of flights and, um, uh, you know, it was just a regular standard flight. You know, I'm used to the short three hour um, trip from uh, Dallas to New York. And, um, you know, I didn't think anything different. And then I heard a loud boom. Um, and about five seconds later, all of the oxygen masks deployed and immediately knew something was on, but, uh, or something was wrong. I just didn't, it didn't register what, what it could have been. And um, then a few seconds later, I he uh, heard another loud uh, boom. Yeah. And that's when I knew that there was really something wrong um, because the, the window had, uh, was blown out. Right. You were sitting, as I understand, two rows behind uh, the window that exploded and the woman who was partially sucked out of that window. What did you do? How did the other passengers react? Did you see it? Oh, yeah. So I think everyone was in a state of shock. And to be clear, uh, she was two rows ahead of me, but on the left side of the plane. Mm -hmm. And I was uh, two rows behind, but on the right side of the plane. I had the window seat. And um, it took, I think, everyone off guard, um, you know, to... Uh, it, it took a second for them to really register what had happened. Mm -hmm. And um, the minute the, the flight or the window had blown out, um, I knew that we were in really bad trouble. Yeah. So in, could you see, could you see her at all? You oh could yeah, see totally. Her. Yeah, because she was just catacornered uh, right to where I was sitting. And was she conscious? Was she saying anything? She'd, I didn't honestly hear a peep um, out of her. Um, from the minute it happened, you obviously heard uh, shrieks and screams, but um, I never actually heard anything from her. Do you, how far out of the plane? Do you know? Is, um, well, she, luckily she had her seatbelt strapped. Oh my gosh. Um, but you know, you know how big those um, those right. windows are, yeah. um, and it was moving so fast. Um, everybody, of course, was just freaking out. Oh. It's so awful. I'm so sorry for her family tonight if they are watching, if you knew her. It's just, it's terrible. At one point, the plane was going down, right? And you guys knew the plane was going down and it wasn't looking good. You were, people were buying more internet time. You were buying on your laptop and you were on Facebook Live, right? Right. And I immediately, I thought, um, you know, if, if I, I probably, I didn't, honestly didn't think we were going to make it. Like, who thinks that you walk away from that type of experience? And all I could think of was needing to communicate with, you know, my friends and family and loved ones back home. And so um, as, as, a, as a marketer, I'm, I'm always, uh, you know, thinking about, about social and using that as a means. But really all I was, uh, as a means to communicate, but all I was thinking about is how I could get uh, messages out to, um, you know, to the people I love. And so uh, rather than really put my oxygen mask on, I reached for my laptop. Yeah. And, um, you know, in a panic, um, um, was uh, trying, to, um, trying to get internet access. And I remember looking for my wallet, I'm not, not sure where it was, and then finally I had secured it. And there I am as the plane is going down, um, in, inserting my credit card information so that I could try to get Wi-Fi access. How long did this go on? It, it, it felt like... It felt like maybe several minutes, yeah. you know, and, and I kept inputting the wrong information in a yeah. panic. And you, you said earlier, you told a CNN producer that the, the, it, the landing was so violent you thought it was 
a crash and you you thought you weren't going to make it? Uh, no, not at all. Uh, you know, we were going down like I, uh, no one walked. Uh, if you're going through that experience, you never think you're going to walk away from it. And then you hear on the intercom a panic, you know, brace for landing, brace for landing. Mm -hmm. And I look to my right out the window and I see a city that um, I wasn't familiar with and come to find out later it was Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. But as we're going down, I have no idea, are we near a runway? I see, I see the tops of, um, uh, of Philadelphia, the top of the buildings, and are we gonna crash into, you know, into these skyscrapers? Are we um, gonna land on a runway? I was completely unclear. What uh, the reaction once you landed? What did passengers do? Oh, everyone was crying, uh, you know, around us. You know, I flew with a colleague, and um, I'll, I'll never forget like his level of focus on just communicating like via text um, to his uh, pregnant wife back home. And it, it's like everything else was zoned out, but he was just so focused on um, getting you know his last words um, out to. Um, you know, to his wife, and and I knew that we were just in, in really bad shape. Yeah, Marty, thank you. Glad that you're okay, and of course, our thoughts and prayers again uh, for the woman who was killed. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. Appreciate. It.